Quick shout out to my Patreons who keep this channel going. You can join my Patreon down in the description below. What's guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're tracking to the 24th episode of World Trigger. This one's titled Meaden's Baby Birds. I think Meaden is the uh, Aftercrater's name for, I guess, border, or are they referring to the entire planet? I don't quite know what they necessarily refer to as Meaden. It's either one of those two. It's either the actual planet we're invading, or it's border and their defenses. I feel like they should recognize the name border, though, if they've attacked before and they know what they're doing. So maybe that's referring to the place they're attacking. Maybe the city or the planet or whatever. Something like that. Um, maybe I'll explain that a little bit in this episode as well. Uh, so baby birds, I guess. I don't know what that could refer to. <laughs> I really don't. Um, something on our side that we're going to deploy, probably. Maybe some of our C-rank agents that are like promising. I don't know. Um, but yeah, last time out, uh, we got to see some more of the command side of uh, Aftercrater and their uh, attack. We do have humanoid neighbors willing to go down, and they want to get down there. But the commander's like, they haven't shown their full strength yet. Let's be patient. Uh, they're letting the rabbits do their work as well. Although, so far, they haven't been... They're, they're tough to get rid of. But they haven't been super threatening to the point of where it's like we're desperately in need to start taking them out. Like we do need to take them out, but they're not like... It's not like our plan's almost fallen apart because of them. We have to prioritize uh, certain areas. We can't defend everywhere simultaneously at once uh, at full strength. So we're going to certain areas, wiping everything out, then moving to the next area. Prioritizing areas that haven't been successfully evacuated. Uh, which means uh, Chica's area is one of the last ones that is going to be defended, and Osamu's like, uh-uh, I ain't leaving. So he's going off with um, uh, Katora to defend that area along with Chica. I assume they're going to meet up. Maybe we'll see Chica actually um, shoot something as well. Maybe we'll see some of her capabilities, even though she's only a C rank. Um, I think in this situation she'd be forgiven for actually helping out. Um... Yuma has activated his Black Trigger, which the commander has said, I will accept because it is an emergency, but you must go and, and defeat the rabbits. You can't just go off with Osama on this. You've got you've to go and defeat the rabbits because we need your strength there, which is fair, to be honest. I mean, yes, it's kind of railroading him into exactly where the commander wants him, but it makes perfect sense as to why that would be. You've got potentially one of your strongest forces here, you might as well use them to take on your strongest current foe. So, it just makes sense. Um, although he is uh, some more of the B-ranks that uh, I think he is a uh, a neighbor, so they um, they just unleash on him, and it's like, no, they they finally realize after the appearance of the rabbit and um, uh, Arashiyama unit are helping out as well. But, uh, yeah, also the base got attacked by um, some of the, the bomber types, that just self-destructed and went into it, like basically suicide bombing. Um, we took two hits, which we can just about manage, uh, because, funnily enough, after Chica blasted a hole through the wall, uh, they decided, you know what, we're actually going to uh, maybe reinforce the wall a bit with an extra bit of tree on energy, and so they did that. Um, so actually, Chica blowing a hole in the wall actually kind of helped out in this defense, <laughs> somewhat unknowingly. It's nice to think about that, but we can't really take any more hits right now. So if they did, if they sent any more than five of those bombers against us, we'd be screwed. I'm surprised they only sent five, in all honesty. Maybe they thought five would be enough to cause a significant amount of damage, which in theory it would, because that first one that hit left quite a scorch mark. So maybe they thought five was enough and they actually were surprised by that. I don't know. Or it was just not an important idea. It was just an idea that they threw out just to see if it would work. Maybe it's a test of uh, the defenses. I don't know. But yeah, super excited to get into this one and see where we go with this. Uh, we're still in the middle of the assault. We've got quite a long arc here with this assault, and I love it. Um, but yeah, uh, what was I going to say? I forgot, I forgot my entire spiel. Uh, so uh, here on YouTube, we do Patreon. Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> here on YouTube, we do Tire Base Wall Actions. If you want to see the full picture in picture, you can go to my Patreon down in the description below. £4 a month gives you access to all picture and picture actions I do on the channel, which is everything from the current seasonal lineup as well as Patreon quest shows such as World Trigger here. 
Uh, we also have movie reactions uh, with Weathering View the movie coming either on Saturday this week or Monday next week. I'll announce on Discord close to the time which one it actually ends up being. Um, here on YouTube, we have to do tire base. So, bottom left of the screen, you'll see a tire for the episode. I'll count down three to one play, then I'll play you start the episode, I start the episode, and we should be in sync. We are watching this one on Crunchyroll since they are the ones who uh, have this series in the UK. Uh, we have the uh, toy animation logo to start, so about 15 seconds of logos. Uh, I'll call it out as go past, but you can also use screen flash on my face, the mic, or this part of my headset to tell when the scenes are transitioning. That should help you sync it up quite nicely. And with all that said, uh, let's get into uh, this week's second episode in 3, 2, 1, play. Toy animation, cheers. Here we go. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Have a hope. Then we get the full series recap because we still need this, apparently. All right, we also had a uh, HU director saying he would go himself if push can to shove, which would be kind of interesting to see. Means baby birds. Mm-hmm. Right, why did it only send those five? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Interesting. They don't want to take over. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I mean, yes. <laughs> mm hmm. 
What dumb little moment to include in there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ha. Interesting. That's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yes, here's the one. <laughs> hmm. Of course, he's got his side effects, so he knows. Mm hmm. Okay. They've sent a lot here, yeah. They must be confident then. Feels like a test, honestly. Right. Hmm. It does feel like they're just testing. I mean, yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Hey, it worked. Not so incompetent. Oh, rabbit type. Oh, boy. Yep. Oh, that's a... Oh, no, that's an advanced rabbit type. Oh, no. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Have we got the OP yet? I don't think we have, have we? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh boy. Nice hits. Nope, basic bitches. We're gonna one v one this. Oh god, it's dangerous. Well, hmm. I mean, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. But he's grown since then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just, uh, yeah. <laughs> so he's prepared for their strategies. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nice. Very nice. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Definitely are. The rabbit. Holy shit. I wouldn't be so sad about that yet. Yeah. Why you got a cat on your head? Uh. Mm hmm. Oh, we anticipated that. Oh, shit. It bases you in. This new type is not to be messed with. Nice. Mods? Oh, they were carrying. Okay. They can open gates for more. Oh my god. Oh no. They're after the they're after the trainees? Oh. Can't escape. That makes way too much sense. That's super clever. The C ranks can't escape. Super clever. Oh. Didn't get to bail out. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Uh, Jin, we need you right now. <laughs> Osama, what are you doing? No, don't. Get out. Get out now.
Frozen in fear. Jin, please tell me you're on your way. Or oh, Armo, one of you. <laughs> Are they going to cliffhanger this? Please don't. They're really going to cliffhanger it? God damn it. Ah. <sighs> What's in the bottom left there? Really? Okay. Someone's gonna have to explain what the hell's going on with this. Sure. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Oh, it looks like... Oh, it looks like we got a unique song or something. Oh, okay. I just stopped it because I thought we were getting another preview thing, but it looks like we actually got like an ED for once? Okay. Okay, there actually is an ED at that episode. My bad. Um, Interesting. I didn't expect that. That's why I just cut it off. <laughs> Is that the start of an ED for most of these episodes, or is that just a purely one-off thing for this episode? Also, who the hell is this Japanese pro wrestler, and why, why, why? <laughs> and why, basically. Uh, what was his name? Kazuchika Okada, okay. Okay. Kazuchika Okada. Yep, Japanese pro wrestler, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Five time heavyweight champion. And his fourth frame was the longest in history and the most successful defenses. Cool. Um he's six foot three, fucking hell. Um Yeah, so why was he involved in that? Can anyone tell me why he was just involved with World Trigger there? I guess he voices a character then? I can't find him... I can't find him listed on this series anyway. Um... What character does he voice? Uh, translate please. Oh, I can't translate this website apparently. That's interesting. There we go. That's translations. Yeah, I don't know which character he is because I can't find him listed here on Analyst, but sure, he, he voices a character in World Trick apparently. Don't know why, but sure, that's kind of cool to know, I suppose. Sure. Sure. Why not? Uh, that was an interesting episode. So their their plan this entire time was to go for the C-Ranks, huh? They can't bail out. They can't defend themselves. That's genius. That's actually genius. And they've tied up all the... Yeah, they've tied up all the A-Rank agents with the rabbits in the center. They've tied up all the B-Rank agents with the ensuing mass that is currently... That is currently threatening the urban areas. And that means anything that gets through to find the C-Ranks 
They've got rabbit types that can open gates. Well, the type can't open gates, but they have um, uh, types inside them that can then open gates for more rabbits to come in, which will then have more to... So the more rabbits you cut down, the more gates will open to more rabbits they'll let in. So, yeah, we're kind of fucked here. Just a little bit. So we need gin or ammo to show up, really, don't we? Also, did hang on. Let me just go back on that episode. I don't know why I closed it down because I was going to look at it anyway. Where is? Where's them saying? Here it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, he says send out the mods. Yep, let's capture those baby birds. Stay so set for them to do the job, yes. Yeah, no escape function is why we're... <coughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah, he says, all of you go play with the Medan soldiers. So the humanoid neighbors are coming as well. So just to ensure that they don't redistribute forces again just to get the A ranks out of there... They're sending the humanoid neighbors as well, just to make sure that you're absolutely occupied. Wow. This is a very, very, very well thought out plan. Very well thought out. We've been, we've been outplayed. We've been outplayed by um, this nation, which makes sense. They are a military nation. They are the most powerful military. It's, they'd be used to tactics like this. They've done, they got the recon advantage ahead of us. We didn't know about rabbits until they kind of showed up, and we don't know the full extent of their capabilities, and now they're sending, like, four different types at us. Yeah, we're screwed. We... Jin, Ammo, and I guess the HQ director need to step in now, because otherwise we're kind of screwed, so... This is a damn good arc. This is a damn good arc of World Trigger, and I'm loving it. Uh, but that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one as per usual. Leave a like if you did, as well as your comments what you thought of the episode. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe to see next week's double episode, as well as the rest of the Spring 2021 line you can find here on the channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.